the global humanoid robot market size was accounted at 1.62 billion US dollars in 2022. And it's said to be expected to reach around 28.66 billion by 2032. And if you divide 28.66 billion by 1.62 billion, which is the market size today, that's more than a 17x, 17 times the market size by 2032. When electric vehicles first became popular in the 2000s, they didn't come without people speaking up against them. Of course, here in the year 2023, we all know how that turned out. And so a lot of the negative feedback about electric vehicles was really just coming from other car manufacturers and salesmen who weren't making or selling electric vehicles at the time. Now, of course, every car manufacturer is getting into the electric EV car game. And so one of the biggest negative things people would say, and I know because I was actually selling Volkswagens back in 2006. And one of the things I would say when someone would walk into the dealership asking which was a better choice, an electric Toyota Prius or a TDI turbo diesel Jetta? Well, I would always say, and of course, it's because I wanted to sell a Volkswagen. But so I would say, if you're thinking about the future and the environment, what do you think is going to happen to all the batteries in these electric cars in 30 to 40 years when they're all just sitting in a junkyard somewhere? And today, this is still very much and more so now an issue many car manufacturers deal with as they find more ways to reuse and recycle EV batteries. Okay, so what does this have to do with robots? Well, we're going to get to that because... Although these issues are very real, the fact is the electric EV car battery problem is still a better direction for the future by lowering global carbon emissions from gasoline powered vehicles. So if the same were said about humanoid robots, female robots, well, the answer would be simple. These robots last forever and could easily be reused and recycled. So really, it isn't even a topic. But moreover, and a humanoid robot shouldn't be questioned. It's proven that robots improve our quality of life. And following the pandemic, I don't think anyone can question whether or not the entire world could use some improved quality of life. In addition to assisting people with disabilities, modern technologies, including robots and AI, contribute to the development of digital health, all while, of course, contributing to society. Robots save workers from performing dangerous tasks and so much more. In fact, the only real threat humanoid robots or artificial intelligent female love dolls pose would probably be towards women. And that right there is truly the post-apocalyptic scenario. Rather than the notion of robots surpassing humans, rather the human race no longer populating. Of course, because these robotic human-like female companions were perfect and artificially intelligent with giant boobs. So surely women would need to step up, be more assertive, or rather just more available. See what I did there? I really like that. Just be available. An article was written in 2018 by a woman stating that women needed to act now and fast, stating that if not, male design robots would take over women's lives, replace them, jobs would be lost, or worse, people would stop populating. Going in that direction, male design robots, female robots, with giant boobs and the perfect bodies. Although fun, these robots surely could not give birth. Anyway, before we go on any further and dig deeper into the concerns that some women have towards the future of artificial intelligence in humanoid robots, as a man, can I say, why do women feel as if 
or fear that artificial intelligence in female robots will replace them? Couldn't they just be an addition to the relationship, the family, or the household? A love doll or a human companion doll with an artificial intelligent brain is a realistic humanoid robot capable of displaying human-like expressions and interacting with people. It's designed for research, education, and entertainment and can help promote public discussion about artificial intelligent ethics and the future of robotics. Robotic assistants, in most cases, we're talking about the wheeled varieties, already help care for the elderly, care by providing remote access to medical assistance, while medical staff can use them to help clean and carry out very basic tasks, freeing them to tackle more demanding work. Robots can ensure better accuracy within the workplace, which reduces the likelihood of human error. When robots work alongside humans, they can help reduce mistakes by carrying out critical tasks without humans having to risk their lives. So surely, a human-like female robot would be a welcomed addition to any relationship, family, or household, right? Well, an article written by a woman in 2018 put the idea out there that algorithms in artificial intelligence were starting to show more and more male bias. Whether it was or is true or not, women would have a lot to lose unless they got involved. Further, the article continued down this road, mostly straying away but looping around algorithms and artificial intelligence. But maybe it's just that. Men look forward to a future with artificial intelligence in a human-like female companion, a robot, while women want to take that away, all while probably hiding a pocket-sized battery-operated companion of their own somewhere underneath their bed. Anyway, brain time. Congratulations, you made it this far in the video. What would you do if I told you you could have 25 years of good luck and all you'd have to do is like this video and also subscribe if you haven't already. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash that like button and you'll get 25 years of good luck. And now, back to the video. Enthusiasts and scientists say that robots can improve our quality of life and make the world a better place, not by replacing humans, but by working effectively together. Nowadays, there is no debate that robots are more efficient at manufacturing goods than humans. So does the appearance of a robot or a humanoid robot matter? Would the color of the robot's skin or metallic texture or lifelike texture or lifelike skin make our future robots better? Or is it just what it is? A few weeks ago, I made a video talking about the price and what future AI in robotics would cost. A quick Google shopping search will bring up a variety of different humanoid robots that you can purchase for as low as 30 US dollars. But then, Probably not the humanoid robot that you envision. Because when we think about humanoid robots, we think of human-like robots with giant bosoms and the perfect bodies. At least that's what I envision. But maybe I've been watching too many YouTube videos. A quick Google search, a thousand dollars and a credit card, and you can get a love doll sent to your house in a matter of days. See what I did there? not use the S word, but rather called them love dolls, trying to keep the video clean. But that's really all it is. Because for less than $1,000, sure you could find yourself a lifelike blow up doll that feels truly realistic, but it's gonna be missing the AI and the brain. And that's what we're pushing for the future to be all about. Anyway, that's pretty much all I got. If you like this video and you want to watch more videos like it, make sure you check out all my other videos. And if you haven't already, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe. Till next time, catch you in the next one.